this was the number one story on my list before he left Melbourne. I'm very excited about this. I hope you've brought your passports, for we are about to leave Australia. The year is 1970. The Hutt River province officially secedes from Australia after a major fallout with the government over a federally imposed quota on wheat production. Farmer Leonard George Castley becomes Prince Leonard I. This is where you get a visa and your passports when I go behind the counter. Yeah. And I'll check it with the ultraviolet light, make sure it's good. Yeah. And the colouring comes up in the middle. And this is your one for Australia. Yeah. I'll check it, see if it's any good. It's OK. This is a very nice map I got recently from Poland, a map of the world. Now there's Australia. Now the capital of Australia is Canberra. They forgot to put it on. Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, very large cities. They forgot to put them on. Adelaide, Perth and Darwin, very large towns. They forgot to put them on. But they put Hartford Province on. It's a very good map. Now 83, Prince Leonard still meets over 40,000 visitors to his country each year. Welcome to Hutt River and come on in and I'll show you around. <coughs> For anyone that hasn't got a, a, a passport, there is these little visa permits and these are our banknotes, just a handy denomination, 10 cents through to two dollars. So you pick it up, have a good look at them. Now this is the princess's royal chair. If you've never sat in a royal chair before, well you can sit in the princess's one. No. This one here is the pyramid of Hutt. In there there's a low wooden bench, you're sitting in the king's chamber, the most energetic point in the pyramid, you sit there for a while and you'll get energised. So where are you from? South Africa. South Africa. What do you think of the Hot River province? It's amazing, I've never seen anything like this or even heard anything like this. Uh, definitely worth a visit and, uh, and to meet him of course. We've got independent states in South Africa, we've got Lesotho and Swaziland which have their own government but never like this, I mean this is in Australia. <laughs> Would you uh, consider giving up your Canadian citizenship for a Hot River one? No. No? No. Why not? Uh, because I like to move around and explore and I don't really stay in one place for a very long time. So. Okay. But he has convinced me that you can travel internationally with a Hot River passport. Mm -hmm. Would that change your uh, opinion? Not necessarily. I think Canada is pretty good for getting work visa and it's a recognised country. Would you consider giving up your South African citizenship for a Hot River one? No, but only because I've been living in the UK for the last 16 months and I'm going home next week. I've got a right to break the norms if the norms doesn't fit me at all now. I've got the I want